real trouble. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Both fighters are 28, with the same height and some differences in reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Awesome! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. It looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Just misses with the jab there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He loaded up there on that high kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Switch, he lands to the body. Just over three minutes now to go. Right over the elbow, the body kick land. Big kick land. Just misses there with the left. Missed with that attempt. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Threw it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. One, two there. Final seconds of round one. Oh, what a fight so far. Striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? You ready? Do it. Slips the shot. 
there's no tell on that leg kick. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations to me. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. All right, single taller tie now. He's back in the twist position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, you're not winning a fight necessarily when you're controlling the center of the octagon, but that's what he's trying to do, keep his opponent on the out. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent who's very fast. Straight right. Good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh! Looked like it did stun a little bit. Oh, big left. Back to the feet. Nice head kick. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Right hand punch from the clinch. 30 seconds now to go in the round. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. That punch no good. Tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice loop of punch. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. Check these kick four. You're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck. Oh, huge elbow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? 
Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder. Oh! Huge right hand! Do you believe it? He got him! What a performance! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called stop to this contest at two minutes, 39 seconds with round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights.